Canada's biggest export is smug. We love it when our boringness becomes our superpower. Chaos elsewhere in the world, cozy calm in our snow-covered cabins. And I'm all for that. I fully support the smug pipeline. However, watching what's happening in the United States is heartbreaking. Not all that surprising, but still sad and super scary and kind of a cautionary tale. And even though up here in the wilds of Canada, most of us are horrified at the violence and stupidity, stupid doesn't need a passport. It's international. It's already here in Canada. We have lots of stupid, all organic and free range. It looks just like stupid anywhere else in the world, except it uses the letter U more and finishes sentences with A. A. We need to be vigilant to make sure it doesn't get to the boiling point it has in our neighbors. That means tackling racism, injustice, and inequality head on, and doing our best to understand why some people feel disenfranchised, and then working to fix that. If we don't, we run the risk of some ne'er-do-wells offering up some seemingly easy, ridiculous, but dangerous solutions. But I mean, what do I know? Listen, most people are stupid, including me. But there's a scale of stupidity, and we're all susceptible to slotting on it. It's a very slippery scale. At the mostly harmless end is saying yes to the extended warranty at Future Shop in the 90s. At the other end, well, let's just work on it so it doesn't get that bad. We just need to be careful and smart. Concentrated levels of pure Canadian smug can be dangerous. A little bit's okay, though.